It was August 24th, 1572. To the people of France, this day would be the day that Catholics and Huguenots would finally settle things and have peace, after years of confrontation. Instead, the Huguenots were slaughtered at a wedding of the sister of King Charles IX and a leader of the Huguenots, Henry of Navarre. Why would a big leader of France want to do this to their people? Let's take it back a little bit. A lot of conflicts started with King Charles IX, under his mother's command. His mother, Catherine, had always despised the idea of Huguenots and Catholics ever combining. This gave her a motive to approve orders to assassinate many of the Protestant Huguenot leaders. One of these instances was when Catherine approved a plot to assassinate Gaspard de Caligny. She did this because she felt he was leading her son into the wrong direction by getting into a war with Spain. She sent her people to kill him, and that they tried to do. He was shot in the arm, which only wounded him. But the Huguenots were very upset, and when King Charles told them that he would track down the person who did this, things got a little complicated. You did what? Catherine ended up having to convince Charles that the Huguenots were on the brink of a rebellion. Yeah, you know they're on the brink of a rebellion, right? At the same time, the Huguenots were as happy as can be. They heard the great news that Henry of Navarre, their leader, was going to marry Margaret of France, King Charles's sister. Although, at this time as well, King Charles had authorized the murder of Henry and the other Huguenots by Catholic authorities at the wedding of his sister and Henry of Navarre. Now, this is where the blood is shed, the screaming starts, and the tears start to fall. Catherine rounded up the nobles, citizens, authorities, every Catholic person she could get to complete this plan of attack against Protestant Huguenots, with the knowledge that so many of them would be at the wedding of her daughter and their leader. And on the night of the 24th, mobs of Catholics started to form. Each person in the mob had a white cross on his or her shirt to help them spot the difference between themselves and the Huguenots. They were equipped with weapons or, in fact, anything that would help them with their mission. The bells started to ring. Chaos followed. Caligny was brutally beaten. and thrown out of a window. Henry of Navarre managed to escape with the help of his wife. Huguenots were slaughtered by the thousands. The mob did not care about gender or age. They would slaughter housewives to infants of all ages. The Huguenot community in France would decrease from 16,500 to fewer than 3,000 at this time. This was caused by not only the killing on that night, but also from immigration to different cities. After the bloody night, Catholics were met with the blooming of a dead Alof tree, which they interpreted as God being on their side. As for the global impact, the news of the massacre was welcomed by some world leaders like Philip II of Spain. In addition to this, the Pope, Pope Gregory, had a medal struck to celebrate the glorious victory. As for France, King Charles had taken full responsibility for saying that the Huguenots were plotting against the throne. As for Henry of Navarre, he was able to persuade the nobles and authority of France to accept the Treaty of Bergerac on September 17, 1577, which ended the ongoing hostilities temporarily. Henry barely escaped death by the help of his wife and his promise to convert to Catholicism. The massacre itself had revived the hatred between Roman Catholics and Huguenots 
and helped provoke a renewal of hostilities between the religions. And this time, it was much bigger than it had been in the past.